Not even enough juice to fire the star motor. Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I don't quite know how this has panned out, but I've just went back indoors. I have a Top Gun booster pack there. And the van was dead flat this morning. <laughs> Let's have a look at this booster pack and get the van started. You're saying exactly how I wanted to do a review, but it's kind of coming handy. I got sent this and I said I'll get to it whenever I get a chance to. I uh, don't own a booster pack anymore. So I just went back indoors and got this. Let's get it out of the box and have a butcher's. Top Don JS3000. Comes in a little hard case thing, which is pretty nifty. Uh, I have already charged this indoors. You get a three amp fast charger, which I do know about. This is your um, battery leads that plug into the device. And here is the top done booster pack in here. I charged this up a few, a few good few days ago now. It's got a super bright LED on the end. Um, you can use it as a power bank. I know that much. It's got USBs and stuff in it. Uh, so the butchers, yeah. So you've got USB C, normal USB. I'm sure the other ones open and all. Yeah, that's to put your jump leads in. Nice and straightforward. Uh, can't remember what that's for. And then you've got another USB. Let's see if this thing will actually start my van. Uh, yeah, proper review, because we proper need it right now. <coughs> Lock was frozen. <coughs> Get the booster pack. The battery's under the seat on these, but it's an absolute pain to move it. Let me get the leads on. Good thing is, it's got a little hook. <coughs> you can pull a hook out, so I've just took that on now. We're on the earth clamp down there, we're on the live there. It's doing something, it's making noises. Let's see if it'll start. I know what I've done. I left epoxy lights on all night. There's my keys. Keys are still in the bonnet. Let's see how good the GS, JS3000 is. Beauty. There she blows. Oh. And you're questioning your life choices. Luckily, the ice is starting to melt now. Well, the little top don saved us. Um, yeah, as you can see, the power leads push into there. And I believe turn it on and hold it. And a little LED light should come on at the end. I've got that right. Come on she goes and it's super bright and all oh yeah oh yeah it's flashing now i think you just carry on it's got a boost button for dead flat i didn't actually press the boost button my battery in this is generally good but i didn't notice till i got out of the van i left the lights on all night so i'm guessing the side lights were on and it's killed the battery uh quite impressed with this little thing so it's got a little flip out bit which you can use as a stand Oh, you've got a little pull-up bit as a hook. Uh, it did do it. Uh, I wish they were a touch longer, but for most instances, I reckon they'd be good. This is a very uh, unorganised review. I weren't planning on reviewing this today, but we actually needed it, and what better time to do a review <laughs> when you need something. Yeah, pretty impressed with that. Yeah, I like that. It all goes away in that little compartment, and that folds back over. Job done. Well, Andy, it's definitely staying on the van. Impressed. Started this up like it was nothing, so 
Now you do actually reckon that this starts, let's have a little look. Nine litre petrol, seven litre diesels, uh, 2400 milliamp hours, crank the engine with seconds. It's got a uh, short circuit protection, as you can see, reverse polarity, over temperature protection, over voltage, over current, reverse charge, and over discharge. So, it basically, if you put the leads on wrong, it won't pop anything. Uh, DC output for cars, uh, fridge vacuum, blah, blah, blah. Quick charge, from 0% to 80% in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, and the LED. Yeah, top done. Well impressed. Thanks for sending that over. Um, it was one of them that I needed to have one on the van again anyway. Um, so I said, yeah, I'll do a little review. And I can't think of a better day to do a review and my battery is dead. Yeah, I used to have one of them um, NOCO GB150s. Uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen now. And to be fair, it was a good booster pack. But it was about 300 quid. They're a little bit cheaper now. Um, but it had the leads fixed, so you couldn't remove the leads. And that got a bit annoying, and it only came in a little material bag. So I feel that sort of this is Top Don is the competitor to that. It is the equivalent. Uh, I know that this says 2400 milliamps, and my old NOCO was 3000 milliamps. But was it really? It's one of them where you don't know the truth uh, until it's tested by proper electrical testers and stuff and ironing and all that sort of stuff. Um, it just seems like the top done, top done, sorry, have took that and made that better. That you've got the option, you can remove the leads. You've got a nice little hard case that it goes in instead of a soft bag. Um, area ring just seems a little bit made better, if that makes sense. Um, I can only give you a review on the NOCO versus this because that's what I used to have for years. The NOCO done me well. Um, it, it would never have started the amount of vehicles that it claimed to. Um, just like the Top Don probably wouldn't do 90 in one hit. But, you know, it's going to be plenty good enough for what we do. And to be fair, it started this transit. Like, no issues whatsoever. Uh, and for the price as well, um, I'll, hold on, I'll get you an average price on the top dock. Yeah, on average, it's about 150 quid. So it's half the price of my old NOCO. It does exactly the same thing, but better. So the removable leads, the hard case, it's got. And also, my NOCO, for 300 quid's worth, never had a stand, never had a hook. And that was so annoying, because if you've jump-started a lot of vehicles before with something similar, you'll know that they kind of... You put the leads on and they're all over the place. At least with a stand or the hook, you can attach it the same way, come into the vehicle and start it up. So they've took something, made it better, gave you more accessories and more user-friendly for our And price. to top it off, my NOCO took about eight hours to charge. And with the fast charger that you get with this, 30 minutes gets you, I think they said 80%. Um, I will double check that. I'm sure it did just say that somewhere that we read it. Uh, but yeah, 80% in half hour is pucker because there's nothing worse than needing a booster pack and it's dead flat. That NOCO, if that was flat, mate, all day long that had to be on charge. It was a slow charge. It was a nightmare. This thing, absolute ripper. Half hour to 80% game changer in my opinion. That's pretty damn good if you ask me. I would highly recommend one of them. I'm not saying that just because they've sent this, but from my personal opinion and using things like this, Puck a bit of kit. Um, yeah, highly recommend. If you're in the market for something like that or you want to keep something on the van, 150 quid is well worth having under the seat, let me tell you. Yeah, check out the links in the description for that one. But yeah, thoroughly impressed to be fair. Uh, probably would have been a bit of a better review if it was different circumstances. But <laughs> how, how better to review a product when you actually need the bloody thing? Yeah, definitely definitely impressed i'm actually glad they sent it over it's one of them things where trying not to swamp the channel with reviews but where we've done the budget build and there's still loads of things that we haven't got anymore i.e decent booster pack always added to have on board 
um, I'm not going to say no. And to be honest, if I feel that it's something worth looking at and you guys might be interested, then I don't mind doing it. You don't have to watch all the videos, um, but we don't hammer the channel with reviews. We're just going to do a few here and there, the ones that we think are usable and something to be useful for us to have on the van. But yeah, uh, my opinion on that, save my bacon. And that's the whole point of these products. If you're in the market for one or ain't got one, I think you need one. Half the price of what I used to have, I'd highly recommend that, guys. Link's in the description. Um, as always, massive thanks for watching. And we'll see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.